Hello friends, I will add another big feature on the SNM Bricks next release and that is map element query loop possibility. Okay, so we were talking about this for a while now since May and multiple people already asked me but I told them Bricks Builder going to add this feature guys, let them do it, don't, don't make me do it. <laughs> but it didn't happen anyway so it, it only happened for the google maps query the possibility not for open street map and stuff and there are other features they missed out again and i they should have just tested my element anyway <laughs> uh, i added this feature uh, will be released on the next release of snm bricks so let's see how it works okay it's pretty simple let's add a post type you have to add a post type first let's call it locations why not locations whatever you want to call and save it and after that uh, maybe we should make it private no i didn't test it with private data by the way uh, we should test that we should test that later on and let's add the custom field to that post type okay map point mm. we called locations to that right Let's call this one location. Okay, why not? Location. Okay, semantically. Uh, yeah, this is the group name. Okay, and then select the map, select the post type. That's it. So it is not repeated because I decided to solve this with post type, not with the repeaters. I could have sol solved it with repeaters, but that creates so many issues and problems and I already talked about this, by the way. Do not group repeaters inside repeaters. Okay? That's problematic. Grouping re grouping fields inside other fields and stuff, like inception styles, that's stupid. Don't do it. ACF uh, teach you guys wrong. That is wrong when you need, like, grouped fields inside other fields and stuff. That means you should have used post types, not grouped fields. Okay, that's why I decided to do this. This is the right way. And let's add a couple fields. I don't know. Let's go out there. And then I can search the city name. It finds it. Uh, I think it finds like post types, countries and stuff too. You guys test it. Okay. And then let's select my favorite one of the points uh, on my beach. And then let's select a icon. I made the icon from the featured image, so it can be PNG. I didn't test SVG, but it should just work. It can be, it should be SVG too. So tests are needed, guys. I can't do everything, so you guys should test it to this too. And then this content field will become the pop-up content. Okay, it, it is still rich text for anything. Let's do something like that: bold, italic, and let's put image as well. Why not? Why not? Because everything is possible. This looks nice. Um, do I need to make it small? Let's make it big. Let's see how it will work. Okay. So now I have only one field. And then let's create a custom page. Let's say we have locations. Don't make exactly the same name with the post type. It will create uh, conflict issues. So let's call it location, location map locations whatever okay don't don't call exactly same select name with the existing post type post types okay keep that in mind so i see a feature looks nice uh publish it edit it with bricks and then let's add the map by the way this stupid thing uh command command palette is great i love it i love it but the problem is it is not dynamic it doesn't see my or other plugins uh, custom elements I think it should see them it should just whatever registered inside the bricks builder it should be able to just populate it honestly that's my point of view because of that it's useless I, I can't use it now see I have to use the panel because of that so let's add the I think this is the 39 39 29 something like that i don't know Let, let's let's see and then let's make the zoom level back a little bit 
uh, bigger the number more zoom okay smaller the number you are back let's make the height 600 enable the post type and after that select your post type that's it so these custom fields are always exactly same okay so it's possible for you guys to structure this loop from zero without using this element if you want to that's possible too of course and then save it let's see what happens okay so let's go back yeah it works uh, i'm just zoomed in a little bit more and the good thing is it just works and um looks like the text making the bit is it let's make it more content i just want to see oh, okay there is a maximum bit okay this is the maximum bit and then image if it is image is bigger it just fits it automatically perfect great love it so this is how it works of course in other features works together light mode light mode dark, dark mode and stuff pretty pretty easy see that's it so um i think the the logo from the uh, featured image icon from the featured image is way to go because it works great honestly i don't know um i was thinking about like depending like using a bricks builder icon library as a dependency but the problem is what what happens when it updates what do i have to update if everything people made will break i hate features like that i hate depending on the shit okay i mean i'm not calling the bricks no i'm i'm just talking about like depending other libraries it is not a good idea to depend anything okay you you should think about like making everything native don't even trust plugins like don't even trust anything just trust your setup okay that's why i decided to make it with featured image because i know for sure 100 percent this data will not get corrupted will not get conflict will not get broken okay this will stay forever as long as the site is live okay so that i think i think it's it's nice let's see if the location is correct by the way of course if the icon is a little bit different you may want to like uh, offset it a little bit the point but i think yeah it's look nice exactly the same spot it stays on the exactly the same spot so that's it uh what you guys think please test it okay don't forget to test it um i will put the link under the video so you just need to download the latest uh, pre-release okay this is the latest one for right now it may be bigger like if you have like if you see 25 or 26 or whatever just don't that okay see you guys on the next video bye